It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Mattis writer Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1881, recorded Thursday, April 28th, 2022. Expert assembly available. On this episode of the Gizwiz, DGD has two new ways to play video games. He also has another look, another gadget that is a wireless mic gadget. I have the very last microwavable gadget and it's a little bit floppy. Also your videos, all next on the Gizwiz. It's the same show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now, and here he is, the webmaster of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Good. Doing great. I and Dennis went to two events this week. What? Yes. Gadget related events or just event yes. just out? Yes. Wow. No, well, we went to Pepcom Wednesday, and Pepcom was at um, Metropolitan Pavilion, which is a, a big uh, event space. But next door to it, there are, is another event space called uh, the Altman Building. And we're walking by the Altman building and the lights are on and they're setting up for a time to play magazine event. And I go, wow, well, wait a minute. I always go to that. So <laughs> when I got into Pepcom, Steve Greenberg was there and I said, are you going to, uh, uh, the time to play? He said, yeah, it's tomorrow. tomorrow? I, said, I have no in, I, I have no what? invite. I know. He said, well, just email this lady. It's just, she'll let you win in a minute. So I emailed her and she said, I don't know. We sent you an invitation. I don't know why you didn't get it. But anyway, so <laughs> we went to two events in a row. That's great. Man, you would have never yes. known. That's Ma annoying. Mask free. Mask wow. Free. Yes, I never would have known. Never had they would have not known. Had, had they not had the lights on and had been setting up stuff, I, would, I wouldn't have known. That's so, crazy. Um, um, but the I'm about to was, fly for the first oh, wh time. Oh, where are you going? Well, it's very last minute. In fact, I'm not even sure if... Uh, if <laughs> you can stay for the whole show. A, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if I'm going. B, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about it. Um, oh, okay. There's a chance, though. It's funny because I've been so excited because the next, like, four weeks, I didn't have any... Four, five, six weeks. I didn't have any travel plan. And I'm like, I'm going to, you know, hit the gym every day, start eating. And then it's all, I have already have two, like, travel things planned. Um, oh, my gosh. But, uh, so I'll tell you all about it next week if, if okay, I, it actually. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll be able to talk about it next week if, if um, it all goes according to plan. But there's a chance that on, on Saturday I'm going to take my first flight where masks aren't required and that'll oh, be oh okay that'll be weird um and you'll be back for thursday show oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, there's okay. no no issue there okay. um so yeah uh it's perfect it's like a new old time we're living in Every, everything's changing everything yes maskless. very fast very very fast. fast um no not minecraft fest says fergus no <laughs> nothing there was there were some Minecraft things at the Time to Play magazine. Oh, wow. Um, oh, that's cool. Uh, and I just took a, a photograph of one because the woman said, I said, can you tell me about these two Minecraft things? She said, oh, I was hoping you were going to ask that. I know nothing about Minecraft. I said, I only know about Minecraft because I have a, a buddy who's like so big in Minecraft. But uh, next week I'll I'll post the picture and you can tell me. Nice. She said I think these are Minecraft characters, but I'm not sure. So. <laughs> no, I don't think there's anyway. going to be any Minecraft events forever. I mean, um, there's like is it peaking? Uh, no, it's the fact that the people who used to do the events probably committed fraud. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. Yeah. They they took people when COVID hit, they took people's money and never returned it. <laughs> and there's like nothing about these people. They've deleted their Twitter, deleted their oh, like oh, everything. Oh Everything's gone. Gosh. Oh my god. And gosh. so yeah, I don't think that's ever happening again. And they were really the only people who were making Minecraft events happen. Minecraft oh. might do official events that's like first party that that you know Microsoft steps in and, and helps oh, manage. I see. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but these events that I was going to all the time back in the day, those were right. um, third party, and they uh, <laughs> probably are not gonna ever happen again. And some unless uh, there's some. Do they owe you money? They don't owe me money. Um, oh, okay. Luckily, but uh, I'm pretty sure it never got resolved. I don't remember. I didn't. I need to go back and follow because. At the time, it was like, you know, oh, uh, maybe they could like come back and give everyone money back. But now, yeah, it's been like a year ago. I need to look oh, into it okay. again. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's not gonna happen, uh, most likely. So yeah. You know, when you did the gadget from uh, Withings yeah. at CES, do you know if the person you interviewed had an English accent? Oh man. Uh, oh, that's it. Doesn't matter. I don't anyway, remember. The, I don't remember. Uh, anyway, we were. Uh, I can try uh, to go Dennis, back and I find. and Larry were at a table having a sandwich, and this this lady joined us, and she she said, "I I do PR for with things," and I said, "Oh, Chad Johnson uh, did one of your things at CES," and she said, "Oh, oh, I know who you are. Didn't he carry you around on oh. a laptop?" <laughs> At Pepcom, <laughs> and you stayed home and read press releases, and he. <laughs> I said, "Wow, yeah, yes, very good memory." That, wasn't that funny? Oh my so, gosh! Failed in so, yeah. I found the video, so here we can see. Does she, oh what yeah, type, let, let me just see. Type of face. accent does she have here? Uh, but tell me, what is this incredible new scale? It's like glass and ca okay. uh, pull up. And you put your two hands on each side of the handle and your feet on the scale. No. I and guess in 60 not. seconds, you can have... She was just very observant of <laughs> everything yes, that was, she was going on around or the... Or we're, uh, we're popular, one or the other. Uh, or, I think she was both. observant. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my gosh. I, my, key, my keyboard is still not recovered from that <laughs> jaunt. When I fed you oh, the oh, screwdriver, yes, yes. I ordered a drink. Yes, and it's yeah. I, uh, the O key is like stuck. It will. <laughs> I can hit it, but uh, it uh, it takes a little bit of working uh, to get it to work. Oh, that's right. because I ordered a screwdriver <laughs> with extra orange juice, and then I spilled yeah, it on my computer. Yeah. Um, very funny. Yeah, very funny. Uh, I, I yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but it'll be fine. Well, it'll keyboards fine. actually are pretty inexpensive, unless it's one of those back... Oh, it's the keyboard of your laptop. Yes, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that they're... I, you know what? Maybe that would be a good crappy corner theme, is uh, cleaning, computer cleaning gadgets. And maybe I can try a few on the keyboard. Oh, that's see a good if, idea. See that's if a I very can good idea. get that key unstuck. Um, sounds, sounds good. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump into some gadgets. Jump into things. Okay, we're going to talk about the Wow Cube. Have you ever seen the Wow Cube? No, I've never heard of it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the Wow Cube, well, you'll see it and you'll, what will you say? You'll see it and you'll say, oh, wow. Wow. So here's our video. Several years ago, a 12-year-old kid said to his father, why do we have to play video games on a 2D screen? Why don't we have the ability to play them in 3D. So they invented a cube and they called it QBOS. But anytime someone saw the cube at a demo, they would go, wow. So they renamed it, ta-da, the wow cube. Ta-da, and this is it. <laughs> okay, are you saying wow? So this is one of my favorite, let me unplug it. It charges via USB-C. I'm just unplugging it. And this is one of my favorite things, is you can use it as a nightlight, as an aquarium. Let me just take it off the little charging stand. So we are looking at 
24 screens, okay, and eight modules that runs this guy. All right. Wow. So now you shake it. It's like shake, twist, turn. You shake it and the menu comes up. Now there's a little white hex square, a little, <laughs> how could it be a hex square? A little white hex here. And the white hex moves. And when you get to what you want, you tap it. And that brings up the game. And this that game, is I think, impressive. is Butterfly, where you Isn't it? To Unbelievable. Yep. match the wings. Uh, 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 uh. If I had a screwdriver, I could do it. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, kids will love this. And if you want, you can play the regular, I guess maybe they just have to call it the cube game. I'm not sure. Uh, but you can play that. And then again, like I said, you shake it and it goes back to the regular menu. In the future, you'll get the weather on this, the stocks on this. Uh, you can, uh, you, there'll be an app where you'll be able to play. Uh, right now, the app is on, on, uh, Apple products, but the Android app is in the works. It's going to be pre-priced at 249. So I'm just going to run like 30 seconds of video from the company. That's it. The sizzle reel. Yeah, exactly. So it looks like you can do apps like cut the rope. Is that you can of... download developers kit and design your own game. That is you can use it as a photo cube. I mean, it looks really impressive, and it, it seems like when it clicks, you know, just listening to that, that seems so satisfying. Yes. It, it, it's quite amazing, actually. It really looks cool. It's, it's hard to imagine that they fit all the uh, electronics in there. I know. Uh, while it rotates and spins and turns. Yes. That's so crazy. So, so, so I should say I spoke to the CEO and it was supposed to be uh, late April, early May that the pre-order opens. You can, you can be on the mailing list now. You can just go to uh, wildcube.com and get on the mailing list to let them know that you want to be uh, notified when – pre-sale start and then they expect to ship in October and I mean it's very impressive this is another one of the uh, uh, nightlight games or, or the, when it sits on your desk it can go into this mode if you want and it can run on the charger all the time or five hours of use with it not connected to a charger and this is sort of a handmade prototype um i had uh, a month a month use of it uh so right after this show in the next couple of days it'll go back to them but it, it, it is impressive i mean that the fact that these things can change so fast as you've turned it in any angle and just uh, beyond me yeah, and it seems like what they've made so far is pretty slick. Um, yes, I, it's it's pretty cool. So, uh, what was the price again? Uh, the the pre-sale price is two forty nine. Two forty nine. Now I don't know why it says ninety four percent claimed <laughs> when you can't buy it. Right. So I have no idea what that is. Right. Um, but the the guy told me that the pre-sale price would probably be 249 and then when i start making them to get in the market they thought it might retail for <laughs> much more than that is all i could say uh there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this thing yeah i mean even even just their website is really impressive <laughs> i mean it's just <laughs> oh you're like, doing that with your mouse yeah i was doing that uh, myself look at yeah. look at it go um <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I I really wonder if there's a huge demand for it. Like I am I, worried I, about yeah, that. I, I don't know. Oh, Ladybug was fun. I played that. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah. It looks so it, cool. It's um, neat. It, it, uh, people are going to love it, but you're right. I mean, it's a great thing to have on an airplane or something where you yeah. want to entertain yourself. A lot of games in there. Yeah, definitely. Wow, that's very slick. Very, very slick. Um, that's cool. That's cool. Well, Cube. Um, okay, gadget number two, brand new for me and very expensive for the kind of money I spend. Let's take a look at this. Recently, I went to the car show. Well, we shot some video there and we used for the first time in a big area, the Javits Convention Center, um, those wireless mics that we reviewed like six weeks ago. They came from AliExpress. And although you could hear me okay, uh, there was some squeaky noises in the background. Now, I decided to buy another set because Pepcom's coming up. It was cheaper on AliExpress if it is the same thing, but there's not enough time to get it because Pepcom is 10 days after the uh, auto show. So I bought these big money, folks. 170 bucks. Ooh, I hope okay. they work. Uh, reviews are pretty good, but it's only from 20 people. And the first thing I like about it is Lockbird, okay? A name you could actually say. <laughs> so the second thing I'm going to look for are the instructions in English, like real English. What is this, magnetic? Hang on. Oh, okay. Oh, mm -mm -mm. it Ooh, is fancy. That's that's where your money went. Lockbird. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, light indicators. Wow, no foreign language. <laughs> and actually, kind of a decent size. You can read it without pamphlet. squinting. Right. Now this is... Ooh. And as I say, it was very hard on Amazon to find a dual mic kit. Like I said, I think you yeah. can get the same thing for Android. on AliExpress 4. Ah! Almost a lot for the great thing about uh, Amazon iPhones. is I could return it. Okay, I can just say they don't work as oh look at this. So it's a charging Ooh. case. All right, and that's the little guy that goes into the phone transmitter. All right, and then these are the little oh these are nice. Okay. And what's in here? I assume it's just, uh, this better be, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it, it was C charging. And this is, yeah, it's C charging. You have to be careful when you buy these. For some reason, if you just need one mic, they're a lot cheaper. But if you need two mics, Lockbird was the only one I could find on Amazon. That was USB C, and had I don't two want to mics. Destroy this in case I have to or send it back to Amazon. Just a little, you know, a little USB charging cable, and uh, what do they call them? Dead cats or something? What What do they it's call a, them? A filter oh, uh, you know? So we're going to do a mic. It's something with cat. The yeah, uh, wireless mic. We're using oh, an sure LG G8 USB-C, and my mic is on. Uh, both the receiver and the transmitter are green. And I'm going to walk up the steps. So I'm walking away from the camera, and you should be hearing me still pretty clear, okay? And then what I'm going to do is come down the steps and walk out into the street. I do a lot of videos. Uh, at convention centers, and those are the worst. So having a wireless mic will be great. So I don't have my keys with me. And so I'm going to not get locked out. Again, I'm facing away from the camera. 
and now I'm out on the street and <laughs> can you see me through my door? So you should be able to be hearing me pretty good. If I sound good, then this is a really a great setup, okay? Lockbird wireless mic. That's it. That's the end of our test. So I thought that was pretty decent. Yeah. It, it, I, it's a bit quiet, but yes. the quality seemed a lot better than the other ones. Like the, yes. the wireless transmitting and, you know, the mic. Um, yeah. So have you gotten, a, do, do you have any, um, did you, did Pepcom happen? Did you? Yes. So Pepcom so. was uh, <laughs> last night, and the next video I did is with these mics. Ah, okay. Okay. So the the thing that's strange about the instructions, if it wasn't for the listing on Amazon, um, oh, it went up. Yeah, it's one hundred and ninety. God, it went up another 20 oh, bucks. You can save an extra $10, though, when you apply this coupon. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? <laughs> when it was $169, I, it still had the $10, so I paid $160. Oh. Uh, now, uh, Scooter X will find it for $6. I'm sure. Um, but I found the exact same thing on AliExpress. Um, with pre almost the same photos for 80 some odd dollars. So it's possible if it is the exact same thing that you can get it for half price. But as I said, I, I wanted to have it for Pepcom. Right. And the 30 day period with Amazon is going to end before I could get the new one. So I, 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 I make end up keeping these. Um, so even though the, the, the instructions, the only hint that it's a charging case is when it's, when under lights, it says when you open the case, if the lights blink alternate red and, and green, it means that the case has a full charge. If it, if it reads uh, blinks blue, it's 75 to 25 percent. If it blinks red, it's 25 percent. So that's the only indication that it's a charging case. Oh, and this <laughs> one very – in one way, it's good. In another way, if you buy these, just be aware of this. Uh, they pair – very quickly when you That's take good. Th th there's no on off switch take them out of the case they instantly pair solid green now i when i was doing that little test the the uh, usb c thing on the phone kept blinking green which means it's not connected and my mic was green and i thought what's going and i thought is it possible it wants the other mic to be on, and it does. As soon as I opened the case, which turned the other mic on, then the uh, USB-C thing in the phone went solid. Ah. So for some reason, both mics have to be on. Even if you're not wearing it, just make sure the case is open so that the mic will be on. But the good thing about it is, I am forgetting ever forgetting to shut mics off. And as a matter of fact, I was getting ready to go to bed and I was still wearing the mic, but it had gone off because if it doesn't see the phone for 10 minutes, it shuts itself off. Oh, that's good. So that's good. Okay. So, and they're very lightweight. They're 8.2 grams. And the, um, the 2.4 uh, hertz or gigahertz or whatever. Yes. That, gig, yes. Gigahertz. Um, that's good. So, uh, you know, that, yeah, little, because you know, there's nothing, there's no, no app, <clears throat> right? Plug it in. Right. You're not you, you, searching for an open frequency, you know, 
It's nothing. it just nothing works. Yes, uh, right. And and they're paired only because I ended up buying three sets of those cheap mics. And I was playing with them and I thought, let me see if any mic works with any of the other mic. Right. Uh, <laughs> they don't. No, that's fine. So they they are tuned to whatever little transmitter that comes in the box. That's so funny. if you get multiple sets like I did, I have little marks on them so I know what mics go with what uh, transmitter. Um, expensive, I mean... You know, expensive for the kind of quality we do. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure Leo, if the mic was seven hundred dollars, he'd go, "Oh, is it that? Oh, cheap? what a cheap mic!" <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah. This looks great. I really. Uh, so I'm very curious to see what the next video is. Oh, okay. So the next thing is audience. another another way to play games uh, from Pepcom. Shot last night with this mic system. Ooh, okay, here we go. I got a press release and it said, the last game board you will ever need. <laughs> well, let's just see if that's true. <laughs> okay, uh, so Tim and, and Shell, and yep. uh, tell me about the, and you guys invented this? Yeah. We did. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. start? Yeah, of course, so we created. Oh, well, wait, then yeah, she has to have say, the mic. Yeah, you, oh, you take sorry. this. Well, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. We'll, we'll have to cut. Yeah. Uh, great. So, so uh, when Shale and I uh, first came and said, you know, what what is wrong with gaming today? A big part of it was we all interact through vertical screens, either on their phone or if you're on a computer. We said, how do we get people interacting again? One is to take that screen and put it down horizontally, right? The very first thing. The next is how do we start putting people around the same screen? So we've got the idea of player drawers. So I've I've gone ahead and, and signed in this player drawer. Uh, but you could do this anywhere, right? We could literally have uh, players pop up at any time. Then the idea is, if I wanted to, like, roll well, When dice, you say players pop up at any time, you uh, could have, these are friends in other locations. You could, right. Okay. You could have them in the same room, or you could oh, have okay. them online. Okay. If they're online, or if, even if you want to use digital dice, you have the ability to do a dice selector, and then, and this, this is some uh, random dice, but if you watch, I'll place it over here so it comes from the right direction. As I do that, they actually oh. move. Right? So, and then the same thing if I then move this, I said, you know, I'm going to roll those again, and I roll from this direction, right? Now they're coming from wherever I am. So whether you're physically present or not, that's, that's how we do that. Um, if we move down a little bit, um, we can talk about this. Uh, let's see, what do you want to show here? Show chess. Let's do chess. You set up chess, I'll set up poker. So these are games people are familiar with. Yes, yeah. okay. absolutely. Absolutely. So our Honda Tech last No, she just okay. doesn't have a mic. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's huh. chess. So this is something that, um, and this, I'm just signing these in as guests for brevity's sake. The idea here is you're playing Texas Hold'em. You don't want somebody to know your cards. So how do you uh, protect information that's on a, on a mutually shared screen? One is to use your private device, but the other is to actually use our tech to um, this is kind of something fun. in the game. In this case, this game is looking for a crescent shape of your hand. So if you place your hand right above these cards, right, right on your side, they will actually, right. so right above the card. Oh yep, my goodness. And then they actually show. <laughs> and then when you remove your hand, funny? then it actually yeah. goes back up. Okay. So the Did idea there is, is we don't wow. have to have a private device. It can be only this, right? And when we talked about at the beginning, it is about above the board. It's about how do we actually connect with people again, like get people talking to each other. Poker's a great example of that. You don't want to be looking at your phone. You need to be reading the people across the table from you, right? So, so that's that whole idea is how do we still maintain the, the best of technology, but yet maintain that human connection, which is obviously so important to us. Okay, and this retails for? $7.99. $7.99, yeah. is it out now? Uh, we're we're in beta right now, and it'll be out in mass production by end of year. And your email, your website? Lastgameboard.com. What was it again? Lastgameboard.com. Oh, last the last game. Yeah, Lastgameboard.com. Last last game okay, great. Yeah. That's your card. That is. Okay. Please. Thank you. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the show. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, I guess two things. One, the mic's not bad. Not bad. Um, oh, yeah. Also, I wish that uh, I didn't realize he had moved it from his collar to his badge. Uh, his right. collar would have been a little better. Right. Um, but 
they're not bad. Uh, they're right. better than the other ones, I think, at, uh, we, at the car show. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Um, the, the only other thing I can think of, is just, I know we're, <laughs> we just saw the last game board, but we're still talking about mics, is um, this is kind of an older product, um, but it is, and it is a bit more oh, expensive. Oh, you have, oh, oh. Um, but have you seen these? Oh, this? you know what? I have that. Oh. The problem is you have to remember to charge it. Oh yeah. Um, it has to. It goes. Um, it's a little complicated. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's much more complicated than just clipping yes, it. Yes, it's from Samsung. And, oh yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's okay. Bluetooth, right? Um, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, okay. I'm actually not sure what yeah. type of okay. Thing that it uses um but yeah that's the only other thing that i could think of is because i think a lot of the times even that mic might even be better if it was like held up to your yes yes no i think you're right but the, 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 you know you, asking you know someone what? i probably <laughs> maybe i should hold mine up or at least find the best position for me the yeah. problem is um you're way better at this than i am is when i'm Using one mic, I yeah. get so involved in talking to the person. I even I have bad mic. Uh, there's a word for it. Uh, like post dedicate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So, so uh, I figured with this, you don't you're bound you don't think to about something. It. Yes, right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, I feel like they should make. Uh, so I've seen this type of mic uh, on like reality TV shows. It's, it's a little necklace. And so it's right in the perfect oh, that's spot. Interesting. And so you can just tell them, and especially if there's like magnets or something, just wear this for the interview for a second. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, that should be our Kickstarter. Is uh, is dead simple mobile mics. That's what we want. Yes. You know uh, what? We could. Do I have it right here or did I? Oh, Chad. What? The thing... That a couple weeks ago I did, you know, the posture oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Now, if only these mics charge, they do, char they, they charge with the case only. Yeah. But if you had a USB-C mic. Yeah. You could plug it. Oh, the problem is it would hang upside down. Our plan <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> If We're there. The it's mic, a prototype. It's just a prototype. A prototype. <laughs> We're working on it. You know. That's right. That's uh, right. We're still in brainstorming phase. Yeah, um, exactly. Okay, so now exactly. to the last game board, which is uh, what the yes. gadget was. That looks really, really cool. And as someone who is kind of into tabletop role-playing games and, um, and you know, playing with friends and stuff, this looks really, really neat. Um, to not only bring your own device to interact with it with their app, I assume, um, but also to like have it there. Um, that's cool. That seems yeah, really, the really cool. The uh, problem also, now I ran Larry who was there. I said, oh, that game was interesting. And he said, certain games you have to buy or pay for. So I don't know what that is about what I thought was, and this is something I, I do not understand this. It says the game board supports digital cards as well as the ability to read tagged cards, either alone or in a stack. Huh? So, well, you guess, know, tagged cards. Yeah. It's like, there's must like a, cards they provide, right? Right. Some type of NFC type thing. Yes. Okay. And so if you have a okay. stack of them, uh, then it could still read them according yeah. to this. Yeah. Um, and, and also it recognizes game pieces and from their shape. Oh. Uh, you can also play games offline using Wi-Fi. Oh. I mean, it's cer certainly an awful lot of effort went into this. Uh, I'm just afraid the price is... I wouldn't be so afraid of the price, mostly because oh, you I know this 
uh, market. And oh, good. This market is used to paying, say, sixty dollars just for the rule book, you know. Oh, or okay. Um, you know, twenty dollars. Oh, well, let's make rule books. <laughs> yeah, <yes. laughs> that's that's the, where the money is. Um, yes. Or or twenty dollars for a map, or you oh, know, okay. fifteen dollars okay. for a minifigure, and so making it all digital and managed. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Interesting. I, I could see it uh, working. Um, okay. For for the you know the tabletop space. Yeah. Um, well, I I I know that I I wanted to do it because they're so excited about this, and my guess is they probably sunk their life savings into this. I don't, you know, it's not like. I don't think they're backed by right, right, exactly, exactly. Microsoft. Um, and so, what I would guess is just kind of like how you need to buy a normal game, you would have to right. pay for a game. Oh, okay, you know? okay. Um, and 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 um, things like poker and things that and uh, will just yeah. be in there. Yeah, there's yeah. probably okay. a few that they develop. Um, and then, I mean, you know, some games I could see like, uh, you know, I don't. I, Dungeons and Dragons, you know, you could charge for the base pack and then you could do DLC, you could do campaigns, you could do, I could see a whole bunch of that sort of stuff. Um, and I, I, I would think is completely normal to pay for that content um, oh, okay. to, to get extra. Um, well, this sounds good. This sounds good. Yeah. Um, away from power, uh, it runs for two hours. Or wow. it can run forever just plugged in. Uh, it's a 22-inch diagonal screen. And that's I think really that's nice. all I know about it. Uh, I'm, I'm reading through some of the FAQs. Like, do you need a subscription? No, there's no subscription. Um, I'm trying to see what games are. You can, you can download a software developer kit. So if yeah. you want to make your own games for it. That's cool. Um, let me see if I can see which game. Oh, Captain J just reserved one. Holy cow. <laughs> there you go. And there you go. Captain J likes it. I mean, I, I could, it, for people who like to gather and, you know, you want to play your Dungeons and Dragons, it's amazing how difficult the mapping process when you got your minifigures on the thing and okay now time to change the map everybody pull this off you know get out the different paper i mean it can be a pain and then on top of that having everything just managed with within the game board um, right not that bad it's, it's pretty cool. oh good good yeah. well I, i'm not a game player of course when i opened checkers i said well they're two different colors <laughs> That's very funny. I can also see this, uh, uh, another Kickstarter we need to start, is this, uh, we need to like have some type of 3D mapping technology with a projector, and then you mount the projector on your ceiling and point it at the table, and then, oh. <laughs> bam, you got, you know, yeah, big Okay, space. okay, that's right. good, that's good. Um, very cool, okay. Well now, okay. it's time to make it not so cool. And head no, on. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the final of April's you know, you Chad. You don't need it, but you might but want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. The appetizing Crappy Corner. Microwavable gadgets. This is mm -hmm. Ooh. the gadget. Uh. Here, oh, let's see. This is a pretty good what the heck is it, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Any ideas? An accordion attacked by moths. On top of that, you know that it goes in the microwave. Um, it's got to be something to do with steaming. Uh, let's see. There's no brandy on it. This is, is the perfect... What the heck is it? It, it would be. There's no way uh, you're going to... It looks like American cheese made by a Swiss company. It has these little things on it. I can wrap oh. around. Oh, I'm to hold it in place? Yeah. It's got to be... Oh, wait a minute. 
Luminiferous? Luminiferous? A taco is it a taco hold? holder? It is not a taco oh, holder. Oh, it's not. I have seen uh, one correct answer. Oh, a few correct answers. But let's just jump straight into okay, the video. Okay, very good. Very and, good. Uh, see what's up with it. Hey, diggities. So we are back with another microwavable gadget. And today we are taking a look at... Da, 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 da. This is the box it comes in, by the way. Very plain. Uh, oh, a it is. bacon gadget. Bad boy bacon. Better bacon faster. Uh, and remember, this is a microwavable gadget. So yes, we're talking about microwavable bacon. And this is the gadget. What a weird looking thing. So I need to read the instructions, but I'm pretty sure I load this thing full of bacon. And then I don't know if I close this or not, uh, but then we microwave this and that will give us better oh, bacon gonna faster. Be so I'm going to wash this <laughs> and uh, read the instructions and then get back with you. <laughs> okay, so the first thing. Oh, you have your microwave dish, load right? Up your yeah. Bacon, oh, yeah. You load it up in I forgot each to use individual it. Uh, area like so. Then, yeah, slap that thing together. What? And, <laughs> and do this so that it all stays together. And now we're going to microwave that. It does need to be on a microwavable dish. And we're going to microwave this for three to six minutes. Now, that's quite a lot of time variation. Uh, it mentions the thickness of the bacon and whatnot. So I'm going to aim for like four or five minutes uh, for this bacon. Okay, so it is cooking in there. I can definitely smell bacon, and you can kind of see a lot of the grease. Uh, yeah, seems to be say, working. We've yeah. only been going for two minutes so far. I have I have no confidence this is going to be nice, crispy bacon, but we'll see. Okay, I am not sure if this is going to be super gross. <laughs> or like actually tasty. I ended I don't up think cooking bacon can be gross. for uh, five minutes. Uh, I went to four and then I uh, restarted, or I did one extra after that. Oh. This does not look like oh. crispy bacon that I would like to eat. Uh. Uh, I don't know if I should leave it in for longer or just call it here. I'm gonna go get a fork so I can actually try to eat this. This is not the, the type of bacon that, that I like to eat. Uh, now, it no, was cooked I like really. Me, oh, but no. Let's see. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try that. I'm I just saying another uh, hour. No to the <laughs> microwavable uh, bacon tray. Now this is, um, Dishwasher safe, which is kind of nice if uh, this is the type of bacon you like. This is more like Canadian bacon, uh, in my opinion. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, not a, not a big fan. Uh, back to you guys in the studio. Okay, so, uh, it was cooked in its defense. That was cooked bacon. It just wasn't as nice and crispy as, as oh, I like. Do you think it would have crisped up if he went more minutes? <sighs> See, I was I'm worried about burning it at that point because the outside oh, was see. yeah, yeah, yeah. I may have gotten too thick of bacon. I may have needed actually thinner bacon to make it work well because also oh. I was pushing the upper limit of where it said, you know, 6, you know, 6 minutes uh yeah. a long time. So, it's $20 and another benefit of the doubt it got pretty okay reviews. Oh. And uh, okay. so looking at the photos from other reviewers, that is crispy that's bacon. That's better. Right? So oh, I may- Oh, that's good. I may need to lock in my settings a little bit better. Oh, this is good, yeah. Because that well, is crispy bacon. Yeah. Well, Chad, how hard is it to take one slice of that bacon and just slice it down the middle in half? <laughs> that, that could, don't you have? 
<laughs> I'll need to sharpen my knives for that yeah, one. Yeah, I think so. I think um, so. So it doesn't look like it's impossible to get super crispy bacon. Now, this is their production photos. Um, oh, okay. It doesn't look like it's impossible. See, now, look, Chumley says, I don't like crisp bacon. I like some with some flop. Some flop. Well, this is a lot of flop. Yeah, that was just ham that I had yeah. before. <laughs> um, but looking at these, I, I, it encourages me to try it again. And I actually really did want this to work because yeah. I like bacon in the morning. And if I don't have to, you know, you the uh, uh, stovetop pan, you know, it... Never turns out quite right. I right. grew up with baked bacon in the oven. I love oven r bacon, um, but that takes forever, and it's very particular on, you know, it's going to burn any second. Um, so if I could get it to work, and I, I think I'm going to keep trying with this, um, I would be happy, because. but I did not have good success on my first uh, run of it. But it does have good reviews on Amazon. Okay. $20. Okay. For the, uh, what was it, Bad Boy Bacon. Uh, bad Boy Bacon, that's so yeah. funny. Uh, bad Boy so. Bacon Maker and Accordion. <laughs> exactly. And, great, what the heck is it, Gadget? Um, so there you go. Uh, the Bad Boy Bacon Cooker. That is the last of the microwavable gadgets. So we will be back with more gadgets next month. Uh, stay locked on the Patreon for the next poll to uh, to put in your vote and become a patron today so that your vote will be counted. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Popcorn. All right, Bob Layton emails us Dick and Chad from Dover New, Dover, New Hampshire. A gadget I picked up I thought you guys might be interested in. Uh, and here's oh. Bob's video. Hey, Dick and Chad. This is Bob from Dover, New Hampshire again with another video. Um, this is a new gadget I picked up, and I thought you guys might be interested in it. You know what it is? Uh, no. a vaporizer? Yeah, it's a combination vacuum, and if you turn it around, what? it's got a blower in it. I would not have guessed. The way it works is you have a collar that you rotate, so if you want the blower or the vacuum, you just rotate it to the device you want. So right now it's in the blower mode. So I went online and got one of Dickie D's wind speed <laughs> indicators so that I could demonstrate the blowing capacity went of online. this device. Someone has, has ripped speed. off my device. This is the one. Oh, that looks powerful. And this is very good. That wow. looks very powerful, in fact. Does a good job. Okay, now it's in the vacuum mode. So you can, it has also two speeds. I'm not sure what he's vacuuming up. Yeah, is he vacuuming up the countertop? Is there anything? It also comes with a vacuum oh. attachment so you can vacuum uh, keyboards. I need this for my oak. Yes! That looks pretty good. It seems like it's putting out. If it can blow that much, it must be vacuuming good. And yeah. A brush attachment for the blower. Oh, to okay. Clean it, all you do is you unscrew the top, and that filter comes out, and you can actually wash it out. It says with water. And that's the filter. You just take that out, rinse it out, and you're good to go. Looks nice. And that's it. It works great. Uh, that it uh, seems pretty powerful. That seems like yeah. A, uh, so he uh, sent us a link to where it is. 
He says, Chad will be disappointed because it's oh. it's micro USB. Oh, get out of here. Oh, it's 50 bucks. Good reviews, too. Yeah, 4.2. That's pretty good. 6,000 milliamp battery. That's pretty good. Most of these smaller vacuums are no good. So yeah, finding one know. that's powerful is uh, quite quite an achievement. Yeah. Powerful and convenient. Yeah. Decent. <laughs> Decent. Decent. For, Lewis was not impressed he just thought it was, no. they just thought that it was decent um yeah i think that's a really cool i, d yeah, I definitely is. know there's a huge amount of people that want this tiny style vacuum and the fact that it will also be a tiny leaf blower um is a huge advantage a uh, big big advantage you know it's interesting chad this is uh, obviously looking at those photos one of those things where a billion companies bought them because it's the same photo oh. in the one that's seventy nine dollars. <laughs> You're right, isn't it? <laughs> Would you like? Oh, the, how many RP? This goes up to uh, more oh. RPMs though. Seventy seven thousand oh. RPMs versus only oh, 6, sixty thousand right. RPMs. Or did someone just say, "Oh, make it"? Oh, it sounds faster than that. Oh, and here's <laughs> one with eight thousand. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think this that? one actually goes up to 61,000 RPMs. Uh, you know, that's how we get, get one over on the, uh, competition. Yes. That is very funny. Oh, there's a newer model of this item. Okay. Oh, that is the 77,000. Oh, oh. That would blow that counter over. I see. That'll blow the keys off your keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the old and the new. I see. Oh, that one has a... Uh, oh, a gauge on a it. A gauge on it. That is so funny. That is a riot. So, yeah, there's the, the battery is bigger, and the fan goes up to 77,000. Wow. Goes up to 11. Um, so you're up to... It's getting pricey, though, 90 bucks. <laughs> I know, that is kind of pricey. Reviews are good, though. Oh, this they are. They are. What do you say? Five dollars with a coupon. Axolist. The Axolist. I, <laughs> I know. They do fans. They make fans. That is what they do. They, may, yeah. they make fans and compressed air things. You know what? Though I trust them a bit more than <laughs> all the other weird name ones. That yes. at least they have specified a category they're in. You know, yes. we got the electric motor factory a working. We put it in different <laughs> platforms. Okay, you want right. a desk fan? We got it. You want a vacuum? We got it. You want a more powerful vacuum? We got it. I know. I know uh, exactly what you're saying. When it, when you find something and it says visit our store, right? And and you're looking at a vacuum and it goes in there a baby bottle, right? And okay, diapers. would I like to buy a portable charger or? A poster of Harry Styles, or yeah, a baby formula mixer, or a tiny blender. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, how about that. Uh, Scooter X found it on AliExpress for a bit cheaper. Oh, but how many uh, RPMs? Yeah, we got to know. Oh, 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 here it is. Se oh, this is the 77. Wow, 1,000 RPMs. That's pretty good. 54. I don't know what these. No, I don't are. know what that. I don't want that the heck one. That is. I want the fifty-four dollar one. Um, yeah, it looks like they filmed it without the filter. Exactly. Didn't it? This I one think just glows. Said, it doesn't. Yeah. It's not a vacuum. <laughs> except they have that in the images. Um, great gadget. Very. Yeah, very this is good great. Gadget. Raw uh, Bob. That was Since a super uh, gadget you found, and you will get the. June issue of Mad Magazine. And if you want an autographed issue of a June uh, magazine or well, whatever month you send the video in, you'll get the, the, uh, the newest Mad. So we're always looking for more videos. Anything to do with a gadget. Brand new gadget like Bob uh, did in this video. 
And we also love videos of old gadgets that are sitting in your attic in a drawer down the cellar. Uh, real old technology that seems laughable today, but you can't throw it out <laughs> because you bought, you paid three hundred dollars for it uh, eleven years ago. Anything to do with a gadget, make a little video. Just make sure we can see the gadget and hear you. You sh uh, shoot in horizontal mode and put it up on YouTube. You can click on listed and YouTube will provide you with a URL and email us that URL mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv can be as little as a minute, but two minutes is good and three minutes is okay. That's it. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now. Uh, Richard Vegas emails. I know you two like to point out things that are absurd. So here's one for you. It's a new exercise bike. And I came across the mat they sell to protect the floor. Please take a look at the infamous with assembly box. So there's the mat that goes under the bike. God, the mat alone is $55. Okay. And he says. Oh, look at this. With oh, expert. <laughs> Eric assembly is free. Expert assembly of the mat, though. Ninety dollars eighty-nine. Wow. I, yeah. Well, they come to your house though. I, I they, would hope. Oh yeah. And they say, hope. do you want it unrolled to the right or do you want it unrolled <laughs> to the left? There are a lot of a lot of options when you get the expert. The, do you, you know, want the logo up or do you want the logo down? Would you like the travel portable bag in in the closet, or do you want me to hand it to you? Uh, or do you want it in the trash? You got some options. <laughs> that is great. That is so funny. I, I, uh, I don't Richard. understand. Because part of me thinks, oh, you know, uh, I, for, I forgot the name of uh, Richard. That Richard lives in some remote town in the middle of Alaska, right? Oh, that would make sense why it costs $90 to get someone out to unroll a mat. I don't live, I live, I don't live in the middle of Alaska. It's still 90 bucks. There's no way. That's very funny. Could you That's imagine if someone funny. actually clicked that? That person who, <laughs> expert assembly. Oh my gosh, honey, you'll never guess what just happened at work today. I got paid you know, $90 you, to unroll a mat. Think that they, uh, put it there accidentally and it should have been under the bike. Maybe that would make a lot more sense. That would make more sense to be it, that, that will assemble your bike for $90, but they put it under the mat. Let's see. Maybe, uh, maybe they just did a flat rate of a hundred bucks for, yeah. So I think they may have just done a flat rate for everything. This thing cost a hundred bucks. Or $90, $90 <laughs> to get it assembled. Let's go back. Let's that look at this. That is over everything. What is this? That is over. Can oh, we assemble a, this? Do you think so? Yep, $90. $90. <laughs> I think we've discovered the mystery. I think we have uh, figured it out. What else? Yes. Um, that is right. The wrench? Yeah, the wrench. What how much What's the four, cheapest? Do the do do the, the uh $14. that thing that's twelve dollars. <laughs> um oh yeah. The wrench expert assembly. Oh my well, gosh. It to, okay. Yeah, do that twelve dollar thing. Okay, twelve dollars for this cover? I who knows what this thing is? What is this yeah. thing? It's a riser. Ninety dollars. <laughs> $90. $90. Okay. Give this thing is simple. Well, you know, if you buy that for twelve dollars, you don't know where it goes. Uh, no. So you have to you have an expert very, come in and you, you say, can, you know, I just bought this for twelve dollars. Where does it go? I need an expert. That, what that is us? so funny. This is one of those companies <laughs> that I'm I'm a little suspicious. They do bicycle 
hookups and uh, stadium seats. Seating. And camping cots. And toilets. Wait, and what? toilets. Oh, my God. When do we... Okay, wait, what's next? Wait, is, does it cost $100 to get a toilet assembled? <laughs> well, I guess. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, uh, no, this does no. not come with expert he the, the, the guy doesn't... He There's no amount of money he's going to come to... <laughs> no. They say, assemble your you toilet. set that one up yourself. Thank you very much. That is hilarious. That is very, very funny. Thank you, Richard, for sending that over. Oh, my gosh. Thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so much for supporting our show. We really, really, really appreciate it. So if you like our show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, you can also head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. There, you can click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website. You can either find our Patreon page there, or there's a link to PayPal if you want to give via PayPal, uh, if you want to, like, say, just do a one-time donation instead of a recurring donation like Patreon. However you give, however you support, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so, so, so much for your support. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, and we're on Thursday for a while, as long as I don't have to go to Timbuktu uh, in a few <laughs> days. Um, so join uh, join us when we are live. Patreon, however you give, Oops. however you support. Sorry, there's an echo in here. Um, uh, Gizwiz.tv, and all you have to do is head to the website, and the website will update with the live stream. There we are. And join the chat room and chat along with everybody. Say hello. Say say hi. If you don't catch it live, no big deal. Head on over there and you can watch any of our previous episodes uh, there on the website. Gizwiz.tv Head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's Sticky D's website where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you're ever wondering what was that gadget, I need to know more, or I need to find that Amazon link, uh, DKD has you covered there on gizwiz.biz. The search feature is fantastic, so use that uh, also to help uh, find your gadget. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? We referenced it even oh, in this episode. Oh, it's ending soon. It will be. This is this is the last uh, t moment, last episode. Yeah, Saturday night. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. This is the entire gadget. You gotta guess what it is. Uh, and it's all it's, I've known from the beginning, uh, actually, that uh, this is one of those centrifugal force rides for ants. You know, you can see the the, the hurl or whirl at the local fair. Well, that's th this is it for ants. So if you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting or interesting answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. I don't think there's anything else to say. No, I so think we'll we're see good. you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>